Welcome back to the Maker Brick Society. Today we're working on part three of our PS5 series, salvaging the parts from the PSP. If you haven't done the soldering yet, please click on the card or the link in the description to follow that video. For this, all you're going to need is a Phillips head screwdriver, however, a spudger or tweezers could be useful. Now, well, let's get into it. First up, you're going to want to take off the battery cover and remove the battery. Next, we want to remove these seven screws. Two of them are under the warranty void sticker. And make sure to keep all the screws organized so you know where they go when it's time to put them back. Now I'm going to use the box my PS5 came in to put all the parts that we won't be needing, like the battery. Now you can flip over the PSP and take off the faceplate. Next, remove your analog stick by removing the two screws and take off the thumb stick on the other side. Take out your buttons and membranes for cleaning if you're reusing this shell. Set all the parts that you will be cleaning off to the side and pile together. I didn't do this, but take your analog stick nubbin and set it with those parts for cleaning. Next, we'll be taking off the home bar. It's easiest to lift it from the left side. You may need to pry it a little bit. Once you have it lifted off, there is a zip connector on the right side. Flip the little brown piece down and slide the cable up and out. This part will be used for the PS5, so put it in a safe place. Next, we remove the LCD. If your LCD is already broken, you don't have to be too careful here. However, if it is still in working condition, you have to be careful here, as it is secured very well. A pry tool, like your screwdriver, tweezers, or a spudger is recommended here if you want to keep the LCD in good shape. Under the display, there are two ZIF connectors. The big one flips down and the small one flips up. Both cables are pulled up and out. You can set the display in the box of parts that we will not be reusing. Next, we take out the silver midframe. There are seven screws we remove here. The bottom right screw isn't actually screwed into the midframe, but this is the best time to take it out. Now we can remove the midframe. You'll have to open the UMD door to get it out. Now stop here and pay attention. Losing this part can cause the entire mod to not work properly. This is the interposer for the analog stick. If the analog stick is not detected by the PS5, most of the buttons will either not work or will not work correctly. Take this little rubber part out, grab some tape, and tape it to the midframe so it can't get lost. Place the midframe and interposer with the other parts to be reused. Next, take out the triggers and put them with the parts that need to be cleaned. Now we take out the button board, the D-pad board, and the power connector. There is one screw for the power connector and one screw for the D-pad board. The button board is just holding with clips. Be careful not to break them if you are reusing this shell. There are two ZIF connectors. The one for the D-pad flips to the left and the cable goes right. The one for the button board flips up and the connector goes up. The cable for the power connector is pulled down with a little bit of force. Set all three parts in the pile of stuff we will be reusing. 
Next, we're going to unplug the UMD drive with its two zip connectors. The middle one slides right and the cable goes right. The lower one flips up and the cable goes down. We'll also remove the Wi-Fi antenna and cable to the left. If you don't plan on using a CM4, then the Wi-Fi cable can go into the parts that won't be needed when we're done. We're also going to unplug and remove both speakers. These go into the pile of parts that will be reused. Now we remove the one screw on the right of the main board. And now you can pull the main board out. When removing the board, it's easiest to push it up and lift from the bottom first. We won't be needing this, so it can go into the box. Now we're going to remove the three screws holding down the EMF shield. Two of the screws are on the black plastic part to the left, and we will be reusing it. Now pull out the EMF shield and put it in the box of the parts we won't be using. We can now lift out the headphone board and unplug the Wi-Fi antenna. Put the antenna in the pile of parts that we will be reusing and put the headphone board in the box that we will not be reusing. The Wi-Fi antenna can also go in that box if you're not planning on using a CM4. Now we flip over the PSP and remove the UMD door by prying from the bottom left and slowly wiggling the UMD door loose. The UMD door can be set with the parts to be cleaned. Now we have four last screws to be removed on the UMD drive. Once the four screws are removed, the UMD drive just pulls up and can be put in the box of unneeded parts. Also remove this little metal bracket that I forgot and put it in the box. Now the rest of the shell can be put with the parts to be cleaned. And that's it. These are the parts that will need to be cleaned if you're reusing the shell. And these are the parts that you'll need no matter what shell you'll be using. That's it for this one. Remember, I'll be giving away a PS5 version 6 once I hit a thousand subscribers. So like and subscribe if you don't want to miss the giveaway video. And until next time, remember, it doesn't matter if you make or break, so long as you're having fun.